What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Austin Show. Today we're looking at the new G.I. Joe Classified Series Wave 8 figures. So in this wave we have these three figures here. So first off we have Spear Iron Knife and this is our only Joe of this wave. So he looks really cool. The Native American comes with an eagle pet. That just looks really cool. I'm super excited to check him out. And then of course we've got Storm Shadow, a much needed villain for Cobra here. Storm Shadow and just his basic look. And then we have a Cobra Officer. So it's going to be just like the Cobra Troopers we've had before. Just obviously a different look and we'll compare those. But still looks cool to get another grunt for cobra and then behind those we also have the deluxe figure of croc master with the crocodile fiona which looks really cool that big giant crocodile and croc master himself looks awesome as well so that's going to be really cool to open so a lot of cool figures in this way that i'm excited about so let me go ahead and get these open and we'll check them all out together well, let's start off with Spear Iron Knife. His real name is Charlie Iron Knife, and he's a Native American that was born in New Mexico that served in the G.I. Joe infantry as a tracker. And overall, he looks cool here, so it's a nice Native American G.I. Joe figure and looks pretty awesome. So overall, we can see his face design there, so it does look like the Native American design with the darker skin type and the long black hair that goes into the different braid, which looks cool with the red designs there and the red bandana. Then for his alpha, he's got this blue shirt on, so a blue like Joe shirt on there with a red shirt underneath, and then a Native American, a tomahawk there on the side, and the military ranking there. He's got the bandolier over the top, so he has a design that all the new G.I. Joes have, whatever that's supposed to be. Has like grenades and a nice sheath there for a knife. I like the like tassel design on there that goes around to the back, leading into the belt there with pockets all around the waist. Then he's got some tan pants going down with some holsters, another knife holster, and a gun holster there, all the way down to the boots where he's just got some classic military style boots and the brown. So overall looks pretty nice and a really cool looking figure. So let's go and do his movement so that can twist all the way around a little bit difficult with his hair getting caught but you can look down that far and up that far so pretty decent movements there in the neck he's got a joint there in his upper neck as well as the lower neck that allows just a little movement back and forth there then we go to his shoulder joints that can come up to 90 there it has the butterfly style joint and can rotate all the way around we get the bicep twist the double elbow joint that bends up that far so not too bad and then of course the wrist can twist around and flex this one has the back and forth hand movement then we get the crunches so we can see the ab crunch separation right in there so it can crunch forward as well as crunch back there and of course it kind of stretches within those straps like can crunch there as well as twist around at the waist where it has some additional movements for crunching the hips can come up to 90 there and maybe even a little bit over and then out to the side of the far yeah i can pretty much do the splits and these have the drop down hips so it drops in there so you gotta push it back up in there then we get the thigh twist that can twist around a double knee joint that can bend up this far to the back almost kicking his butt shin twist all the way around at the boot and then the foot flex is back and forth and can twist side to side. So once again, has good movements, much like all the other Joes, so not much different we're seeing here. And then, of course, comes with a good number of accessories. So first off, we have his backpack, so a nice backpack design here in tan color with the black section at the top that a lot like the Joes have. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but then he's got a peg on the side that I'm sure you can hook a gun onto, and then also has the perch at the top for spirit, so that is pretty cool. So, of course, the peg in there as well. So let's go and slide this into his back. So there's the backpack on there. And then, of course, he comes with a number of weapons. So first off, we get two different forms forms of knife so we have like the more like classic military knife there all in black and then we also have I guess more of a Native American style knife looks really cool with that design there on the back with the black and silver and then has a little skull design there on the top so I assume this one goes onto the front here so in this sheath design can slide into there and then the other knife goes down in here but I guess you could always reverse that if needed and then he comes with a handgun pistol so a nice little pistol here on black which is cool with you can see the like eagle design which I can't get the folks with the head up top and then the wing coming out so that looks really cool there on both sides so we can put it into his hand but let's go and just stick it in for now and then we get his main gun of the sniper rifle since he's like the tracker and stuff so he gets this nice sniper rifle design which is cool with the big scope up top and then just the overall gun design which unfortunately we are missing the magazine we didn't get one in our packaging so we have contacted Hasbro but yeah it didn't come in the packaging or anything so we don't have that we got a nice silencer there on top so overall really cool design there for the sniper rifle so with this of course you can take it and put it onto the backpack so you just slide it into to the trigger piece so it can slide on there or probably reverse it around whichever way but let's go and just put it into his hands so there is spear with that snipe rifle which looks really cool and then of course with that set we also get freedom which is really awesome so we get the bald eagle which is his companion so some of the joes have animal companions and his is this bald eagle which looks really cool it in itself does have some movement as well so like the head can move up and down there and twist side to side we get some movements in the wings so the wings obviously on this one pop out but you can move them around a little bit back 
back and forth. The legs do move here so they can move back and forth and the feet can twist around there as well. So this is overall pretty cool and he's got these nice little peg pieces so you can stick it into the peg there on his back. He does also have the sections there on his arms because he has like the arm covering there so the eagle can land on it which is cool but since I have the gun in his hands let's go and just pop it on the back here. So there is Spirit with Freedom on his backpack which looks really cool and of course as I mentioned you can switch his wings out so he has some additional wings as well with the big wide open wings so we can switch these out so that'll look cool. And there is Freedom with his wings spread out so that looks pretty cool as well. For Spirit with Freedom which looks really cool this is just an awesome figure especially with that eagle thrown in. And next up we have Storm Shadow, real name Thomas Arashikage, and of course he's a Japanese American from a family of assassins that served in the US Army alongside Snake Eyes, and he is an 8th degree black belt, but now serves as the ninja bodyguard for Cobra Commander, and he looks cool here again in his classic design, so overall looks awesome, and his all white ninja garb, so he has the face covering like balaclava design, going into like the ninja gi, so the looser fitting shirt design, has the Cobra logo on as well, and the sleeves missing, down on his hands he got some coverings as well as some gloves there all in white to match bandolier around his chest with some ninja stars on it and belt going all the way around his waist and then he's got some ninja style pants on some more baggier style pants going into the shoes where he's got the wrappings up his legs and then the shoe designs with the toes cut into him which is always fun so overall looks pretty cool I like how on his hands here he, you know he's got some fingers showing so of course his fingers there for his bow and arrow and stuff but overall looks pretty cool I like having the sleeveless shirt design and then just the overall face covering design there as well so pretty cool just figure design overall. But let's go and do his movement so his head there can twist all the way around and he can look down that far and up that far so not bad movements and he does have this hood piece that's just floating around back here that gets in the way so that causes some issues but overall it's not bad. The shoulders can come up to 90 have the butterfly style joint there and of course can rotate all the way around. We get a bicep twist the double elbow joint that can bend up that far so good once again and the wrist can twist around and has the flex up and down this time. We have the ab crunch in the middle there so it can crunch forward and crunch back so really good crunching especially nothing getting in the way here and then of course the twist at the waist as well with the additional crunch movements. The hips can come up to 90 and out to the side that far yeah you can do the splits again with the drop down hips that you have to push back up in. Thigh twist all the way around a double knee joint that can bend up it's a little bit stiff here but it can bend that far up so not far from kicking his butt. Shin twist at the top of the boot and then the foot flexes back and forth and can twist side to side. So overall once again pretty similar to the rest of the GI Joes. I don't really see anything different besides that he has less on him currently the way he is so some of his joints can move a little bit more but overall pretty much the same and he comes with a lot of accessories so first off we have a hood design so he has the hood down there and we also get a hood piece so where the hood is up so let's try switching the head out with this so there he is with the hood design on which as I feared big and bulky and stuff and doesn't really look right but it's not horrible I thought it would be much worse but still overall not a bad design like I said I just wish it was a little bit better and like smaller but not bad overall and much like the other Joes he has his backpack design here so of course for him he has a quiver there full of arrows and then sheets here that holds two swords and of course the Rock Shikagi logo there on the back so let's go and just pop this in. So it just sits on his back like that which is cool. And before we get to his weapons he does also have this additional little belt piece that I found. So it's just this little piece that attaches here and on the back of his belt he has this little ball joint design so that you can just take and pop this right on there and it just hangs on there and then you can bend that around wherever you want it. For weapons first we get our two swords so he's got two like katana style swords so of course the different sizes there but there's the two different more one shorter and one's longer and then what's really awesome is that they have snake heads on them so you can see there in the black the snake head designs which is really really cool so with these we can also just take them and slide them into the sheets and as you can see one is longer than the other so of course the longer sword would go up top and the shorter in the bottom there so that is pretty cool that we have those holders there and then he also comes with a compound bow and arrow so we'll try and get these into his hand I'm not sure how it'll work exactly but for the backpack piece at least we do have a slot here up by the arrows so we can stick that arrow down down in there which stays nice and then there is a little peg here that I'm sure you can stick the bow on that by the design it looks like it pegs on just like that so you can store all of his weapons there but let's try and put the bow into his hand so as usual with the Hasbro and the bows this is hard to get set up but of course his is a little bit better because he does have like a little clip here on the bow so you can actually like stick the arrow in there it doesn't hold too well but it will at least hold the arrow and then I'm trying to get it more to his hand but it just keeps falling out but there's 
is about the best I can get there for it together. Of course, trying to actually do like a bow and arrow, you can't get anywhere really close to it. But overall, that looks pretty cool there. Again, this hood I don't like too much, so I'll probably switch it out. But overall, I think that looks really cool. And I like, again, with the GI Joes, how you can store everything on him. So I like how I can do all that as well. But overall, really cool figure. And of course, we do have that older version of Storm Shadow, the Arctic Mission one or whatever. So there's, of course, the differences. But obviously, getting the original looking Storm Shadow is much better. So overall, I like this figure a lot. And next up, we've got our Cobra Officer, which is just the frontline leader of the Cobra Troopers, which we've dealt with two figures that have already looked like this with the past Cobra Island, Cobra Trooper, and the Cobra Infantry. So those in the past have looked very similar to this. The only real difference that you can tell with this is that he's got the silver logo on his chest, and of course, you'll see some other minor differences, and then more of the gray design. So it's got like these gray straps here. Has, of course, some like some logos there on his chest as well, and overall looks pretty cool. It still has all the all blue design, similar to the other ones, which is cool, but just I I like that design there on the chest with the Cobra logo and stuff looks awesome. He has his ranking signature there on the side. So we have the Cobra logo with the rankings there and then just all sorts of pockets and stuff around on his straps here going down his legs where he's got some straps, the knee pads, all black boots, all black gloves, and then the face covering there as well. So the bottom half of his face is all covered in black with the top with the blue with black designs, of course, with all those little detail lines in there, similar to the other ones as well. So like I said, very similar to what we've already looked at in the past, but let's go and do his movement. So his head can twist all the way around. He can look down that far and up that far and he actually has a joint there as you can see so it pops back and forth in there then we get the shoulders that can come up to 90 and have the butterfly joint that can rotate all the way around we get the bicep twist the double elbow joint that can bend up that far at least and then the wrist can twist around and flex back and forth as usual we have the upper ab crunch so he can crunch forward and back there so that crunching and then of course has the twist at the waist with the additional crunch movements hips can come up to 90 out to the side that far he can do the splits drop down hips again thigh twist twist all the way around double knee joint that bends up that far to the back shin twist at the top of the boot and then the foot flexes back and forth and can twist side to side so once again just like all the other gi joe so nothing special there but then we get a number of accessories for him so first off we have his helmet design so here we have his helmet again much like the other ones we're sort of like that cobra design but it has a silver v there so this we can just go and put on his head here and then it looks more like the others and then we get for his backpack piece is just a holder for one of his guns but it's a nice like leather design with the cobra logo on it there but of course we have the peg that we can peg into his back so it just pegs right in the back there and then we start to get some of his weapons so first off we have a knife so we have this knife design that i've not seen before but it looks pretty cool with the black handle and silver blade there just a really weird shape but this we have the thigh holster down here so we can just slide this down in so it sticks in the holster like that and then we also get a pistol so a pistol design which again looks a little bit different from what we've always seen but pretty cool just all black design so with this we can put into the holster here on his side that was a little bit difficult to get down in there but there it just sticks again like that and then i'll just go ahead to his big gun so he gets this big rifle here that almost looks like an ak-47 but pretty nice design overall with like the brown details there and it just overall looks like a futuristic version of an ak-47 and it has a lot of slots here for attachments so we have a slot here for the magazine so unlike the spirit one we did actually get the magazines with this one so with this we can just slide it into there so there it just slides in the bottom which looks pretty cool and then we also get like i don't know if it's a scope or like a flashlight design or something but we have this as well that can attach attach into like this open slot here so you just take and slide it down in there so it sticks on so there we've got like a more kitted out gun there which looks pretty cool but we also have spaces to hold it so this goes into the sheath back here the actual gun and then we also have a holder here for like the scope or a flashlight piece and then a holder for the magazine as well so let's go and put all these in here so I'm not exactly sure if I'm putting them in right but there I have the magazine and then the scope flashlight whatever there and then of course we can pop the gun back in so there's the gun on there so I like how those can all just go right together there in the back finally we get like a sub machine gun here so just a little gun so a machine gun piece that also comes with a magazine as well that can go into the slot there so you can just plug it right in and it sticks in there like that so with this we can go and put this into his hand so there's the cobra officer with that gun there so overall he's kitted out once again and like most joes he can hold pretty much all of his weapons just this gun is the only one he doesn't really have a spot to hold but overall that looks pretty cool and awesome and as i mentioned we do have the other versions of this pretty much as well so over here we have the cobra infantryman i believe it is i could be and he's all mixed up and then the Cobra Trooper as well, the Cobra Island Cobra Trooper over here. So again, these all pretty much look exactly the same, just different chest plates. And then like I said, the color changes with the silver, but overall they do look relatively same, pretty much exact same body used over and over again, but really nice to have this there filling out a ranks of infantrymen, troopers, and now an officer.
And finally, we have the Deluxe Crocmaster. So this looks pretty awesome. Crocmaster reminds me a lot of Bane just with like his vest design and the bare arms and then the mouth breather and everything. Just overall designs with the black and stuff reminds me a lot of Bane. So he's got the all covered face there all in black with the red eyes and of course the mouth breather going there with the breather going around to a tank on the back. He's got the all alligator skin outfit. So he's got the like vest piece here without the alligator skin and then you can see the scales and spines there on the back which is cool and even has the Cobra logo there. Then in the belt looks like we have a crocodile eye then the all black pants going down to the crocodile skin boots with a knife holder on there and a gun holder on his left thigh there and it looks like armor around his arm with some crocodile skin and black gloves and then an all metal one there so overall he just looks really cool and ridiculous which kind of fits because his whole thing is just being a reptile trainer for a cobra so it looks cool fits cool awesome career and stuff and just a lot of the stuff he comes with is awesome as well so this is just a really cool figure but let's go do movement so his head there can twist around you can twist it all the way around you have some issues with the two but you can unplug the two there to give it the twist all the way around and you can look down that far and up that far as well so pretty decent movements but we can just go ahead and plug this back in then we get the shoulders that come up to 90 have the butterfly style joint there and can rotate all the way around we get a bicep twist the double elbow joint that bends up that far and then the wrist can twist around and flex back and forth it looks like we have the ab crunch in the middle so crunch forward crunch back so pretty decent crunching and then of course the at the waist so we have the twist all the way around and then rock back and forth as well then the hips can come up to 90 out to the side of the far can do the splits thigh twist all the way around a double knee joint that bends up that far to the back shin twist at the top of the boot and then the foot flexes back and forth and can twist side to side which i do unfortunately have issues with him with the feet design it's hard to get him to stand he keeps falling over just his boots are stiff or something or doesn't have much movement there in the feet joint so i have issues getting him to stand but just overall with his design i don't think i've ever seen a cooler looking character but he comes with a number of accessories so first off we have a knife so a knife here that goes down into the sheath so nice green design there on the handle probably some more alligator skin and then the knife blade there so this can go down into his leg slides right in there and then we get a pistol as well so a nice pistol like revolver design that can go into the holster so again the, ooh, even the holster has alligator skin designs can go in there but maybe let's try put it into his hand so there's croc master with the pistol which is cool and then he comes with a lot of accessories for training alligators so first off we have a whip design so we have a whip again with the alligator skin handle so a nice whip there we all also get a hook design so I guess a hook you can just hook into like the alligator's mouth or something just be able to hook it up to be able to get it to do what you want and then we also have a color for Fiona of course the alligator we'll see here in a second so the nice color piece with the chain handle going back so that looks really cool as well we'll have to try and put that on her and finally besides Fiona we do also get two little alligators so baby alligators or crocodiles I guess I can't really remember the difference between the two but we have a green one and an albino one which looks cool unfortunately the green one looks like the teeth design they tried to paint in did not go very well but overall the two little crocodiles look pretty fun there and of course that leads us to our cool pet companion of Fiona so we get this big alligator we'll try and move croc master aside there so here's Fiona which looks pretty cool just this big crocodile which looks awesome so there we've got the head and we do have some movements as well so of course the mouth can open and close so there we get the mouth open which looks nice so the nice tongue design the mouth the sides of the cheeks there and stuff just looks so cool with all the teeth so that is just a really cool design and then of course we get the head that can move back and forth and up and down so pretty good movements there in the neck we get the like shoulder joints here that can move up and down and of course can rotate around and then even like a little wrist joints here and stuff I don't know how well they're loosened but can move back and forth there and of course twist around looks like we have would be like an ab crunch stuff so we can crunch back and forth there of course go side to side like an alligator does and then crunch back and forth a little there as well then we go back we have the legs that can move back and forth and then again the feet that can twist side to side and have the joint back and forth we get the tail as well that can rock back and forth twist all the way around and move up and down so good movements in there and it feels like it's a soft like flexible probably has a bendy wire in it so you can bend the tail around however you want there so a lot of good movements in the alligator that you can get in all sorts of positions and movements and stuff that is pretty dang cool and then as i said we do also have the color piece here that we can get around its head so besides going on like that far that's just me just sliding on i don't know if it's supposed to go any further than that if you're supposed to like pop the head off and get it on back here which i don't think it would fit there so i assume that's probably just about where it goes there we can have fiona have to get her adjusted from the movements and stuff and then we can put the handle in croc master's hand so let me try and get this set up so there i got the chain on fiona into croc master's hand so there's like him trying to control it of course we could use the hook on it with fiona as well as the whip like he's trying to whip her in the shape but overall that is really cool just getting croc master this awesome looking figure as well as a crocodile figure to go with it is just freaking cool so this is probably like one of the coolest figures that i've ever dealt with here on the channel so very awesome figure that i recommend everyone pick this up if you can 
well, there's our wave eight of the G.I. Joe classified series figures. We're in the wave. We got Spirit, Storm Shadow, and the Cobra Officer. And then I threw in the Deluxe Croc Master figure with Fiona just because we got them all around at the same time. So all these figures are really cool and I like them a lot. Of course, it's awesome to get Storm Shadow in his more classic look. Spirit is just incredibly awesome, especially with Freedom thrown in. Croc Master with Fiona is just ridiculously awesome. And then the Cobra Officer, of course, just goes in with your Cobra ranks to fill out more of those. So all these figures are cool and I recommend them all. But let me know what you thought of them down in the comments and if you enjoyed my review let me know with a thumbs up but i want to thank you all for watching i hope you all stay awesome out there and i'll see you in our next review